Hello everybody and welcome to today's Destiny video. So again, we're going to carry on with Taken King preparation. As I said in another video, I am not going to be doing all of these in one single video. Instead, I'm going to make a playlist and do one of these every day. Purely because some things you know and some things you don't. And I don't want to be shoveling stuff that you already know down your throat just so you can hear the bits that you don't know. So basically... You can just pick and choose. If you know what I'm going to say, just don't click the video. And if you don't know, then it's probably good that you watch these. So, today is going to be all about Motes of Light, as you can probably see in the title. So, in one of the Taken King reveals, it was said that Motes of Light, well actually it was said afterwards on Twitter by Luke Smith, it was said that Motes of Light were going to be useful in um, the Taken King for levelling up gear. So if you didn't already know, your light level on your gear is what matters now. Um, your actual level will be level 40, but your actual like gear will actually have light levels along with your weapons, along with your ghost, along with your class item, along with your artifact, which we still don't have. All these things will have a light level. And now the only way to actually increase this is to infuse with other, other guns, other pieces of armor, um, to upgrade its light value. Now on Twitter he said that motes of light can actually increase this as well. You just use a mote of light on your armor and it will just get bigger in value. The actual light value will go up and this is very important or at least it sounds like it is. It could just be so minuscule that it just doesn't matter or it could cost like a hundred motes of light just to go up by like one level. But either way, it sounds important. So I would strongly suggest getting those motes of light, ignoring all kinds of reforging, anything like that. Don't do any reforging until we're taking King anymore. There's no point. Use the weapons that you've already got. And then use all your rest of your motes of light for this. Also, you want to save all your weapon parts as well. But I will get into that in a different video. Let's just go over quickly how you can get Motes of Light easily. Now, Motes of Light are actually a reasonably difficult resource to come by, or at least they were before the Taken King. Now, you can actually get them from Xur. Reasonably easy. If you've got an abundance of strange coins, then you can buy Motes of Light pretty easily. You can also go to the Speaker, and he actually sells Motes of Light for Ascendant Shards and Radiant Shards, and you can easily get these like from grinding down these grinding down these but yeah they're, they're really easy to get now uh, most of like are oh, so also you get them if you dismantle any weapon or armor from the actual house of wolves like all the new armor and stuff they actually give most of light unless it's something like um, i think trials gear doesn't and i think uh which other gear doesn't so some of the other gear doesn't as well i think it's Iron Banner stuff. I'm not actually so sure, but some of your armor, I can't actually remember which one it is, doesn't actually give you motes of light. Um, but motes of light are probably the easiest to come by at the moment, and it's unknown if they're still going to be really easy to come by when the Taken King finally drops. So, my advice would be stock up on motes of light until the Taken King comes out. So that brings me to the end of this video. If you did like it, then please leave a like and subscribe below. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye, Guardians.